Hey, hey, hey. Can you go do it again? So first. Uh -huh. What do you think? Just, 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 just rate, rate those beats in the comment section. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, your girl with your ways of vlogging from Fasakas, Nigeria. Hey, this topic, Doako, this is a very interesting topic. And I don't want you guys to comment yet because from the title now, everybody, ha! Comment, comment, it will be like the Israelites and the uh, Egyptian war. I don't want any Israelite and Egyptian war in the comment section. Uh, just watch the video to the end before you comment or drop your honest comment. Uh, thank you so much. And please let's welcome our new firm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel. And let's just dive straight. See, see, oh, oh, no, go, quadro, no, come with, okay? Yes, so let's just dive straight into the video. yeah welcome back so for my old gang members you know when the fight when title becomes this way <laughs> that means we want to debunk some misconception about nigeria women and our abroad our women nigerian living in diaspora and nigerian women living in nigeria a whole lot of let's just debunk some misconception so please watch this video to the end before you drop see when text comes like this on my videos i know i want to have a genuine conversation on the comment section give your honest opinion no insults no 18 and see let just let me not rumble too much the topic i've said i've said i've said what i said in the topic <laughs> Why is Nigerian women in diaspora jealous of Nigerian women living in Nigeria? So why is it that, I don't want to generalize it, why is it that Nigerian women living in the diaspora are jealous of Nigerian women living in Nigeria because of our self matter? Okay, okay, let's just get straight. When did Alsep so that you in Nigeria living in diaspora, in Nigeria living in diaspora, that has been living in Nigeria? Did you live with an Alsep? Did your parents live in an house with an Alsep? Did or uh, you demi feel that you needed an Alsep? Please leave it in the comment section. A whole lot of things, a whole lot of misconception about Alsep has been going on on youtube yeah, apart from youtube i read a lot of things on twitter about uh some ass up uh some madame maltreating their ass up um as some people take pictures of uh ass up and their madame in an eatery and the ass up will be eating bones and puff puff and the real children of the madame and olga will be eating fried rice jollof rice chicken and a lot of orishi rishi and uh it has led to a lot of things a lot of things ongoing regards this ass up issue and i found out that a lot of women i've seen i have i see shout out to all my the women i know that are abroad like a whole lot of them that came through for me during odinaka's case the fireborn incident boy a whole lot of them i love i have personal relationship with them right now shout out to you guys you can you <laughs> you you all know i love you right but this is an honest conversation and i need you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section so recently i found out that a whole lot of women abroad uh feels like nigerian women living in nigeria are lazy having one two three hours of living with them sister is abroad my cousins i do talk to them how are they coping without our Help. a lot of them have been so honest yeah i must i must tell you the truth honest oh i wish i'm in nigeria to have us up you guys are so blessed to have help especially when you put to bed i was talking to my friend in cyprus uh chiwe shout out to you i have to call her name <laughs> Uh, uh, she was telling me she just put to bed and mom could not come for because of covid and she was like oh i miss nigerian because of ourself uh, i wish i'm in nigeria have a lot of help and if if my sisters are not around i can get up to help me do run errands at home you understand so and i i got talking to a lot i told you i have a lot of women especially because of the kind of business i do i'm lit with a lot of women in the diaspora yatago so i've got i got talking to few of the women i know in the diaspora and they've gone 
crazy like they've gotten into the speed the nigerian women are lazy how can you be an housewife and you'll just you're just an housewife not doing anything and you have one or two made that it's laziness so uh, we, we, it was a kind of honest conversation with her so i was trying to tell her, no it's not laziness that most of these ourselves are being paid i have a friend who pays her house up twenty five thousand monthly and you know the good thing about it the outside does not even eat one naira from that money they do the transfer every month and the when the house was leaving a house she saved up to up to three fifty thousand chair about she saved it and that was it and she started off a business where she left a madame's place so most times i i feel like I feel like oh, it's a feeling, oh, I don't know if I'm right, if my feeling is, is right or wrong. I feel like Nigerian women living in diaspora because the fact that they've given birth to four, five children abroad and they took care of the children all by themselves with their husband, yes, of course, and they now feel like they're strong and that means Nigerian women living in Nigeria having a sepia and they are lazy. Another thing I feel like, I feel like because they could not have house help whilst they were giving birth and they needed help, they could not get that luxury, they now feel jealous in quotes see see you guys see this, this is an honest conversation and this is what i feel i feel like then i they got jealous in quotes they feel like oh you are you are you are lazy you're lazy you're jobless that's why you need all these assets you cannot get up and do things by yourself <laughs> See you guys. See, see, and I, I, I got one war in a comment section the video. No, we will not fight war. Please drop your honest. And I know I'm talking to mature women. I will, will drop comments with uh, with Uche. You're the head. So let me go to my next point. So personally, again, why do Nigerian women have us help? Personally speaking of my own experience, if a butcher staying with me, started staying with me immediately, just few months, few years when I got married, and my mom brought her because, you know, I have said the story over again. She's now my daughter, and the, I didn't. I, you've never seen me call her as up before. She's not my up. She's my blood. You understand? And uh, she does things like my help because she does a lot of cleaning, a lot of sweeping. I'm going to do it like a morning routine of a normal routine. Um, I'm trying to figure out that video. She does, but I cannot call her my help. And for some people that call someone help, help my housemate, my house help, does not necessarily mean those people are treated like maid. I don't know if you get it. Because I found out that lately, I found out that a lot of my friends, the house, the, the house helps, like housemate that stays with them, those, most of the housemates don't even want to leave because of the treatment that madame is giving to them, the love, the the, the love, uh, the everything, affection, not treating them bad, not treating them as apps up, not treating them like housemaid. Okay, let's. that is the positive. Uh, they have some madame too. Okay, the, they are staying with my mom currently. Her name is Muna. She was staying with a woman in Benin. The mother gave birth to her out of wedlock and uh, she uh, after her, after a lot of stories, the neighbor had to bundle the girl back to the village because of the maltreatment from a madame in Benin. So they bundled her back and th at that period my mom was looking for someone. You know my mom's health condition if you're an old member on the channel and my mom just really need help you understand so we'll rally around and got her the girl her name is Muna and she has to stay with my mom the day she sat my mom that like I came to Oka and she was telling me how a madame her ex madame was treating her she sleeps in the toilet she uh, she eats uh, leftover food she doesn't go to school and the madame gave birth to an a, a, um, a name besser i don't know i'm sorry to use that word like especially a child and she carried literally carries the child for morning to night and that is her job in the house she doesn't eat well she sleeps in the toilet because she bed wet so bed wet is, is not the reason why you have you allow someone else's daughter to sleep in the toilet when i heard that i screamed i wanted to get the woman's number to call them what kind of wickedness is that okay that is another aspect of the main thing okay coming over to the nigerian living in diaspora i now feel like they have this thing 
this anger in the spirit about Nigerian women having us help. There is absolutely nothing wrong with having help, especially if you can take care of them. For crying out loud, feeding is so expensive in Nigeria now. If you have anybody you're feeding in Nigeria now, you're a superhero. A bag of beans, uh, the debacle yesterday, bag of beans as a few days ago, is hundred thousand naira that bag of beans is uh, the beans actually is the in quote they call it poor man food the poor man food now is no longer poor man food so if you have like two three helps in your house right now you're a big madam yes because you're feeding those people these girls you're clothing them you buy parts for them you're changing their deodorants you're buying a lot of things for them so what am i trying to say in this video for the women living abroad who are kind of non bitter about nigerian women living in nigeria feeling like though they are lazy feeling as though oh, you don't you don't have a job and you have you have like three hours made with you you shouldn't feel that way i feel that is coming out of jealousy yes that's what i feel i feel like it coming it's coming from the place of jealousy from the place of because you cannot reach something you are now you, uh, like, like kind of this thing you cannot get this thing you are not angry hey <laughs> that is th because i feel like people abroad i've asked a lot of them questions especially one time i was in my life section like few months back i have a lot of nigerian women living in the diaspora on that live stream section on my youtube channel that i will got or talking about us or uh, bringing us up from nigeria to the diaspora they were talking about how difficult it is one how the guy can come and put you into trouble how the guy can come and run away with a man uh, a whole lot that even their cousins has come and run away with a man or all those stuff so i feel like the nigerian women living abroad because they cannot get us made because you cannot tell me that if you're a mom of four or five and uh, they're giving you a help they're rendering you up like you have opportunity to get up you say no no i don't need help because i'm a superwoman when you go to work when you walk around the clock especially abroad when you need to walk 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 and rest walk walk and rest and you tell me that if they offer you to get you house up for two maybe the government has said okay bring bring ship down house up for nigeria you're not going to take that offer tell me the truth if you're not going to take the offer let's tell ourselves the truth for once don't get this or oh, angry jealous or oh, oh i don't know because you cannot reach something i see i feel like some people have that attitude in them if they can't reach something if something like even root to river they'll not feel like condemning that stuff because you don't have this thing don't condemn it because you don't have the opportunity in court to have this thing why condemning it it's so wrong having an ass up there's absolutely nothing wrong with it especially we are not staying with you 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 know yourself as a woman if you feel like maltreating your house up or if you feel like not maltreating your house up, that is left for you and god of course left for you and judgment day because god will definitely judge every of our action every of our world so you feel like the parent of this child is not with you and you feel like you can't go to maltreat this girl she's going to sleep in the toilet you're going to give her leftover food she's not going to go to school under your watch you feel like that is the best thing to do for a girl living with you and taking care of your kids good for you that's your business and if you feel like i know a lot of amazing women who are treating their oh my god i don't want to mention names amazing women who literally treat their maid the house up like their own daughter I, I, my girl living with me, I cannot swear call her my house up, but though she's not my house up, but nobody knows. Everybody thinks she's my husband's daughter or she's my own first daughter or something. You understand why? Because of how we treat her, how she clothes, how she, the good, good school she goes to, how we, everything, the body language is just there. You understand? So for, in conclusion of this video, for those of you who are women living in the diaspora, who feels like Nigerian women living in Nigeria are lazy. Oh, they, we are not, I mean, Nigerian women who are living in Nigeria, we are not lazy. No, but see, I gotta tell sugar, no, no, you fear. There's nobody that will put sugar in your mouth. See, you that is abroad, let me tell you, if they gather now, they, they, like you have opportunity to they send that up, to up, ask me for you, won't you gladly accept it? Tell yourself the truth. Won't you gladly accept it? you will gladly accept it so let's let's face the fact let's always tell ourselves the truth that judging something out of contents judging something out of nowhere you don't have any basis of judging something you just feel like you want to condemn it like i said earlier i feel like some set of people are condemning it because they cannot reach it because they cannot get ourselves they cannot get help so they see other people getting the help and they are condemning it shouldn't be so shouldn't be so
so that's just my honest opinion in this video nigerian living in nigeria women living in nigeria are not lazy i'm a nine to five mom i have my youtube channel i i, I go to the market on a daily basis to export things and um, my girl staying with me for which is in school whilst i do all of that the only thing she does in the house is just come back wash their uniform clean up the house and they go to bed that all then she, do, she doesn't cook for me she doesn't go to the market for me <laughs> absolutely nothing so why do you now feel nigerian women living in nigeria are lazy because they have two or three houses for kind of like they're taking care of those girls they're taking care of them anyway see i i need you to leave your thoughts in the comment section don't condemn something because you cannot reach it don't condemn something because you know this thing is not reachable to you you can't get these services now and you're condemning it don't live that kind of life you're a woman you're a mature woman you're a mother don't live that kind of life if you see people having two three four five hours up kudos good for them they have the opportunity the luxury they can click oh, having three hours up is no joke my sister is no joke you that means you're feeding apart from yourself and your husband and let's say the kids are seven and you have two three yourself five adults five adults maybe you now have three four kids then four making you nine <laughs> feeding nine people in nigeria in this day and time or more you be believe it, believe dangote. Yes, to dangote. See dangote, yes, see dangote. See dangote, yes, see you, yeah. Honestly speaking, it's so difficult to feed people right now in Nigeria. So let's let's leave that all those sentiment, all those bitterness in our heart, all those jealousy. I feel like it's jealousy. Let's just always tell ourselves the truth. Nigerian women living in Nigeria are not lazy. Yeah, they are not lazy. Get, I can get all the help I want to get if I have the luxury of time, luxury of money. If I have that money, I can get all the help I want to get the help around. And for kind of like giving those children, they are giving their life a meaning. Some of them live in the bacha, some of them uh, live in the village. They've never been to township before. They, have, they don't have good background, no good education, no nothing. And you're bringing them to the city, uh, you're either training them in school or they're learning or uh, uh, and work or something. And you're also paying them sleeping in a good environment feeding them good food communicating with them they learn good english they communicate with the kids and everything ladies and gentlemen is a huge privilege uh, yes it's a huge privilege i just to end this video please leave your, your thoughts in the comment section i know i have mature women who watch my videos and i need you all to drop honest your honest on thought in the comment section of this video till i come your way next time my name is uche where is the vlogging from portacot nigeria god bless you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video share this video if you love this video i love you guys bye bye